Welcome to Cartwell. My name is Vignesh Ramakrishnan and we're going to be talking about the Volkswagen T-Roc in this video. The T-Roc is a very interesting product for Volkswagen because it's a huge opportunity for Volkswagen and Volkswagen loyalists. For example, let's assume you're looking at the Volkswagen Vento and you want to upgrade your car. You really don't have any other car in the Volkswagen family unless you take a huge leap of faith and afford the Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace which is in fact quite expensive. Now the T-Roc here makes it makes a really good bridge that sort of connects the affordable Volkswagens to the premium Volkswagens. Having said all that, the T-Roc is also a very very peculiar car because it's a purchase decision that is driven more by emotions and not logic. Here's why. First up, it's not the features that would move you, but it's the quality. Now, if you take a car like the Kia Seltos or the Hyundai Creta, you would see an endless list of features. You get both speakers, heads up displays, wireless charging and whatnot. And these are things that sort of add a lot of logic to your purchase decision because you would feel like, oh my God, this car is giving me so many things and for this price. So there's a sort of a features to price sort of an equation that's going on there. But with the t dog you need to unlearn that logic because the t dog doesn't get too many features. The biggest features that you can boast of are the panoramic sunroof and the virtual cockpit. Now, the t dogs promise is all about interior experience. It's about the materials used on the inside. It's about the fit and finish. It's about absolute timelessness of how the interiors are laid out and how it feels to be inside one. Point number two. There are no connectivity features, but it gets amazing driving hardware. Now, the t dog is not a car that for which you have an app and you can sort of switch on the car, switch on the engine, switch on the AC and whatnot. It doesn't do all that. But instead, it relies on old school ideology that giving an amazing powertrain makes a lot of difference. And it does because it, the t dog gets a 1.5 liter TSI engine, that's turbocharged stratified injection engine and the 7-speed DSG transmission that you have seen in the Polo, the Vento, and the Tiguan, and so on. So, uh, in a sense, you're looking at an amazing driving experience. And now that it's also an imported car, you can expect a lot of European influence to it. You're looking at slightly stiffer suspensions and a more engaging steering wheel configuration. In a sense, if you're someone who loves driving, you are likely to connect with the Volkswagen T-Roc much, much better, therefore making it more of an emotional choice rather than a logical approach to the whole idea of a car purchase. Point number three is exclusivity. If you take a car like the Kia Seltos or the Hyundai Creta, once it sort of gains its ground, we are looking at these cars being all over this place. But when it comes to the t rock it's going to be a limited edition run. We're looking at 2,500 units for the whole of India, which means that if you own a t rock right now, it sort of means that you have one in 2,500 units present across India. And if you add colors into this whole combination, you're looking at, for example, let's say if you take the yellow color, you're looking at probably one in 500, which is super, super exclusive. Point number four is the pricing conundrum. Now, as of shooting this video, the introductory showroom price for the Volkswagen t rock is 19.99 lakhs and the on-road price works out to 24.3 lakhs in most of the cities that we operate in. Now, having said that, I understand that it's not a car that would sort of matter to everyone. It's not a price that would sort of give a lot of people the logic and justification. But if you look at things a little differently, when you think that, yes, this is a completely imported car at 19.99 lakhs, whereas the other manufacturers have actually made it here, you're looking at a difference in quality. And second, there's also the exclusivity factor that kicks in really hard. And these two alone make it a lot more of an emotional purchase that you wouldn't mind spending the extra two or three lakhs to afford the Volkswagen t rock when compared to the other cars in the same pricing bracket. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're considering the Volkswagen t rock do reserve the car online with us and we can deliver this car across Tamil Nadu and in a few parts of Karnataka as well. Just so you know, we are CarPal, we are a virtual dealership that helps you figure out which car to buy across brands, across models, and also buy it online with the best of transparency, pricing, convenience, and more importantly, a digital experience that does not require you to visit the showrooms at all. Have a great day.